like we always do at this time. Let's take a trip down to Atlanta, Georgia. East Atlanta, Georgia, to be exact. So much shit happened down there in East Atlanta, Georgia, when it comes to these thug ass rappers that nobody pays any attention, even from Shorty Low. What's up, T.I.? I just put T.I. because he's a motherfucking Georgia representer. His name do come up in a lot of shit. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to show y'all step for step. Why King Vaughn never had a chance down in Georgia. They noticed that even when King Vaughn passing came up, his name came up, and he said something about it. Oh, yeah, we got to stop all of that. We got to stop all these people coming down here messing up our beautiful city. He had something to say. But, you know, certain rappers like Meek Mill, who lost his homeboy down there, Chino. And let me tell you something about that Chino murder. Let me tell you something about that motherfucking Chino murder. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Now y'all probably don't. Y'all probably don't. Anyway, Meek Mill's own boy. Chico, what is it? Chino Vaughn? 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 He got slayed down there in Georgia. And they sat him down there in Georgia just for that mission. He was sitting up in the house chilling with his brother-in-law who turned against him and another producer guy who turned against him. That was Chico Juan. Chico Juan. And I don't care what nobody tried to say. They said that the man got off the phone and said, and just pulled out his gun and started shooting. No, I feel like they knew that that lady was telling him that they didn't. she didn't trust those two guys the guys he was in the room with, she had a feeling because they were, she said some Puerto Rican shit to him. So he put his phone in his pocket and started shooting. Bam, 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 bam. Now, the one thing I will say about the producer dude, he, he do got four big-ass bullet wounds on him. So I can't say that that gentleman is lying. I don't want to pick any sides on this, but I'm just saying, what if somebody paid them to kill Juan? Yeah. Go on. Yeah, and they kind of went down the same type fashion. That man wasn't even from Georgia. He was out there fucking with, 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 with Meek Mills, though. Yeah. They put you in the mind of how Dirk sat Vaughn out there on the dummy mission, knowing that people was down there in Atlanta waiting to kill him, but still sat him down there, knowing that he, was, he wasn't going to make it back home. Had a problem with 21 Savage, and eventually that happened. You did. Just like King Vaughn. He had a problem with 21 Savage. Meek Mills, King Vaughn, Little Dirk. It was all warm. And it was warm just how it was going to happen. And just like nobody want to admit that Vondo did that shit for 21 Savage, you know? That's why he took the chain. Just listen. Just listen. Here's how 21 Savage feel about anyone that's not from Georgia. Sad nigga think Atlanta sweet. Fuck them niggas. Pick them daddies up, nigga. Spray these bitch ass niggas. Fuck that Nigga better start calling somebody motherfucking phone nigga in Atlanta. What's up, cousin? What's Before you up, come. Cousin? Now your ass gonna die, bitch. Nah, bitch ass niggas ain't doing all that goddamn hoo hoo hollering in my motherfucking city no more, nigga. Fuck all that shit. Nigga, that shit stop. Today, nigga. Your bitch ass ain't in contact with nobody from the street in Atlanta. Your ass is bad, bitch. You gonna take your chain. Then they take Game Bond chain right off his neck. Then we witness that. And then all of a sudden. People out with these duplicate chains. That ain't even a fucking chain that King Von made. That chain big as hell that that, that Baylo had on. King Von chain was not that big. But anyway, who am I to talk? Rob your bitch ass, shoot that shit. Nigga, motherfucking respect this shit. Y'all gonna motherfucking pay some motherfucking respect, bitch. And y'all gonna die, bitch. Y'all puss ass nigga wanna discuss niggas in group chats and shit. We on y'all bitch ass. The smoke, you know what time it is. Y'all niggas already shit. I of crying on Instagram. Crying on Twitter, making them long ass, deep ass posts. 
pick up them guns, start shooting at these piss ass police. Playing with the wrong one, fuck boy. Because didn't they bust at the police when they was down there that night to King Von Dog? I could swear they did, because the police were sitting right there. And they blamed the the police said, fuck the police, bust at them too. I'm going to kill you, bitch. I got mine, bitch. Straight up. I got motherfucking money to get. Bitches to fuck. Pussy ass niggas to kill. And now you on my list. Shaking my. Just got all my tattoos removed. Now that is the 21 Savage we all know and love. All that fake tattoo on your forehead and all that to make you like cook. I'm telling you, when this man got that costume and that little fake tattoo in the middle of his head, off his head, I don't know who he really is. Change man now. I'm gonna go to church. Yeah, I'm gonna go to church. Yeah, stupid motherfuckers really thought I got my shit removed. Nah, you ain't gonna remove. You just drew him back on there when you got finished doing what you was doing. It's only one on your big ass forehead, but okay. Like I'm trying to explain to y'all. Atlanta made a statement. Atlanta is standing on that statement. A lot of people are dying going to Atlanta. Philly, Chicago, New Jersey, New York. It's a new law down there. And if you ain't know, better watch what he just said again. I mean... I mean, like, take for instance, and Von thought that him and Quando Rondo was friends, just like he thought that he was going to meet Boosie that night at the hookah lounge where he ended up getting killed at. Nobody is truly, truly anybody friends. It's like Caleb B. thinking that 21 Savage is her friend, but he hangs with the same person that she's mad, killed her brother allegedly. Or allegedly has something to do with her brother's being killed. I don't want to say that he killed her brother, because then I'll be putting a charge on this man and he had nothing that I don't know nothing about. So then that'll be a lie, and I don't like to tell lies. So. The gully. He was arguing with Caleb B not too long ago, but 21 Savage, the same person, Vaughn, allegedly killed one of his people in East. Atlanta, and that's right where he's from. He, him and his little slaughter gang, they right from East Atlanta. That's where they run shit. And they really out there busting their heads, taking names. And like you said, you niggas be thinking y'all are tough. We going to show you. And that's what I be saying about people. They be like, man, be careful. No, 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 no. People got to understand. When they made tough guys, they didn't just make them in one city, one state, one jurisdiction. They're everywhere. Tough guys are everywhere. And just like you could be a gunslinger, it's somebody who could sling a gun just like you and put it in just like you. The day that you meet your match is the problem. Now, now ask yourself, 21 Savage, N NBA, Boosie, Quando, 21 Savage, Dirk, Did none of them know that Vaughn did something to 21 Savage people? Guess not. Maybe they want to act like that. I don't know. Was Quando sent to act like he was cool with King Vaughn? Or was they really once cool? Or was it all elaborate setup because King Vaughn allegedly slept with Pootsie's little soldier NBA young boy's baby mother, did they send this man to act like he was his friend to start this beef? That's so they could do what they did that night. But who could put a battery at King Barnes back and make him jump out of the car and just straight start fighting, half sleep and all? Me? I'd have been like, yo, what the fuck are we even doing at this shitty ass place, man? Get me the fuck out of here. Take me home, boy. I'm tired. Sure, so the man fuck that nigga. I, man, I'm so tired. He'll whoop me right now. I'd have been on it like that. Like, I wouldn't even jump down it and react it like that. Because you got to remember, everybody got security, man. Vaughn had security that ran and left him allegedly. Quando Rondo had security that was just lighting up the fucking block. 
Some of them was even hiding up in trees and under cars and shit, you know? They was getting busy. But, you know, it's time for us as men, men in general, no race, men, to better our thinking patterns. It's time for us to grow up and mature and learn how to build. Go buy some fucking land and teach your kids how to be farmers or some shit. Don't teach them how to be those because they ain't going to live long. And then you're going to be on TV crying, not my baby. Oh, no, he was a good kid. And at the end of the day, motherfucker, FBI got a portfolio of all these gentlemen saying that they wasn't good kids. You know? So, I mean, if you got kids, look over at them. Do you want your kid to be a rapper or a farmer? <laughs> Ask yourself. Do you want the kid to be a rapper or a fucking farmer? I'd rather take my kid, I'd rather take fucking plan B. Let's go let them be farmers. The rappers, boy. The record labels getting millions and million dollar life insurance policies on them. They dying early. Man, we done lost so many young rappers, man. They can, they can fucking start an army. They can start an army with the people that done die. It's crazy. And it ain't stopping yet. 5G floating around, got niggas brain frizzling and shit. Niggas out thinking of murder. Niggas out feeling like Melly, I got murder. My mind. Me? I got money on my mind. I don't know what it's doing to me, but it's making me think harder about building, owning, buying, having. My own boy want to start a box truck company business. I'm going to help him do anything I could to help him with that because that's some positive shit. And that's the type of shit that we got to get on. Me, on the other hand, I want to buy some land. But I'm the type of person where I got enough space to help him do what he do 100% and make sure he's successful because if my man trying to do something, I got to be 100% down with him. And I, that's what I'm going to do. But like I'm telling him, I can't step to the table broke. I'm on here hustling. I'm getting my money up on this and other things that I'm into. My money is looking all right. So then now I could come and be like, yo, let's build this. Let's do this. You pay one, I pay this. Let's buy this. Let's get this. Let's get this office. Y'all ain't thinking like that. Niggas getting money and out here thinking about a fucking, a fucking big ass silver platinum chain and all that shit. I'm all, motherfuckers, I get money and thinking about some fucking Dior shoes for $2,000. And your baby mother live in housing. And somebody in your family live in housing, nigga. Nigga, you spend enough money on bullshit. You could have bought a fucking complex and put all your people in. Hey, they buy some cheap fucking rent, but you're going to pay. It's better than buying shit that don't bring no profit back. Like that chain on Rondo neck. Take for instance, he spent ten thousand dollars for that chain. You wear that chain, you take you take it around the corner, you bend a few corners, he come back the next day and say, I want to sell this. The first thing the motherfucking jeweler gonna say is, Oh nah, I can't buy that back. He gonna send him elsewhere. He go elsewhere. That jeweler gonna put his shit on the motherfucking scale and be like, Well, you know. It's only worth 10 millimeters and all that bullshit. Run numbers on your ass. You don't know what the fuck he talking about. It's like, you know, with the gold market prices, that chain is only worth about $2,000. You just spent $10,000 for that motherfucking $2,000 chain. What the fuck? You niggas better get smart. You rappers better get smart. Start spending your money into building, buying properties, chip with them, chip. Why we got a fucking rappers that's out here getting together and starting to fun with all them tripping on land that everybody start building on it, you know what I'm saying? Making sure everything is straight. They, they all build their own foundation like that. It'll never happen. Rappers getting their money and saying they got to go buy this fake-ass jewelry. If anything, you should be going to buy your fucking... I tell them motherfuckers, they be like, well, you know... You got to spend this $100,000 on jewelry. I'm going to be like, okay, you sons of bitches. What I'm going to go do, I'm going to go buy this 3D printer. I'm going to go um, right here and buy this roll of gold for 20000 And I'll be back. I'm about to a roll of platinum, too, for another 20000 I definitely will be back. 
and I'm going to go look, and I'm going to find me some motherfucking designs that I want, and I'm going to design me some shit that I want, put it into my 3D printer, and make my own fucking chain. You know what I mean? Chains I make out that roll of gold, and I got that roll of platinum. Fuck. Listen, these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers be going over there to goddamn, what's that shit called? The, the ice box? Hey, in the back, these motherfuckers got all these goddamn 3D printers and shit like that. They sit back there using on these niggas. Why the fuck you can't buy a 3D printer? Niggas ain't getting rich off me no more, man. I swear to God. Nigga, when I do get money, nigga, I ain't going to no jeweler. Fuck you, nigga. You got a 3D printer, nigga. The same shit I could buy. I could sit and make fucking gold rings and gold chains for fun. I could motherfucking sit here and make gold chains and be like, yo, whoever when I'm sending you this shit talk chain with the motherfucking emblem on it, you know? Yeah, I'm going to spend a couple of dollars, but I'm going to make it back because I got a roll of gold. That roll of gold will make about 50 chains or some shit. About 20 chains. I'm not mad. But y'all niggas get y'all money and do the foolish motherfucking things. And then motherfuckers die young. A lot of brothers done die young. Not motherfuckers, but these young brothers die young. And they ain't got nothing to leave their motherfucking kids, their parents, nobody. Oh, he was broke. He didn't have nothing. He was. He had money. He had a big thing of money like from his fucking forehead down to his kneecaps. What the fuck is you talking about? Oh, no, that was pop money. What the fuck? Like somebody trying to tell me now how I'm supposed to feel. King Von never even killed nobody, as they said. That was all just part of his persona to sell records. Y'all got to stop saying, but it's all... Some of that shit, like that scene 88 shit. See how that scene 88 be knowing shit before it happened? Cause scene 88 probably the motherfuckers who shit and write the scripts for these rappers, man. He be you know, he be telling you the script before it happened. They be like, yeah, I'm um, Quando Rondo. Gonna get shot 45 times next month. What the fuck? This nigga just said Quando Rondo. Gonna get shot 45 times next month. <laughs> scene 88. Motherfucker be like, yeah, um... A little Boosie's gonna go to jail in less than two weeks. Fucking Boosie ends up go to jail. What the fuck? How the fuck this nigga knew he was gonna go to jail? What the fuck? But our brain won't process the information to say this shit is fake. We've been fooled long enough, people. I keep trying to put this in y'all face. We've been fooled long enough. Rappers, actors, rappers are actors. Some people that you think living this life. Nigga sterile as hell with all the girls. Nigga ride around, got all the niggas house and the whole world following this man. Man, go on to his husband after fucking all this shit is over. But then when that shit comes, when y'all see this man holding hands with somebody, it won't register and process to your mind. He was a gay black male. Not saying nothing was wrong for being a gay black male. I just say he was a great, phenomenal actor, Tupac Chikor. And I don't want nobody to misconstrue who the fuck I'm talking about. You feel me? I don't want nobody to misconstrue the black. Who is he talking about? That was the hard, let me tell you the hardest part of my life. Having to understand that people didn't like me was not my friend. I'll say that one more time. I had to learn that people did not like me. That people didn't that didn't like me was not my friend. Motherfuckers that didn't like me was never my friend. When I got that down pack, life is so smooth. Now I just stay to myself. I mind my business, you know. I select friends. I got, I like said, my friends are smaller than a decimal. My sis, my friends are smaller than a period. Put it that way. It's not a lot of us. A few of us. Who the proud, the loud, smoking loud. But anyway, y'all, uh, I just wanted to throw a little few things out there and show y'all this shit. Because I, I really I really was finna do the video on... Hold up, let me get his name. Okay, Chico Juan. I really was gonna do a, a story on Chico Juan. Because at the end of the day, you could never, ever, ever think that family wouldn't cross you out to save their lives. Now, but they can't say, yo, we want Chico one. If not, they 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 trying to get the, the whole family. I think niggas will turn them up. And I think that niggas turned them up. And, I mean, 
They tried to say he got robbed. That's why he shot dude. Dude was in there trying to rob him for something, whatever. So he shot him. But his friend, I guess, came through the door, or whatever. And seeing they seen him shooting. He shot at Juan, or Juan shot him. I know Juan shot him four times. He killed Chico Juan. But you always got to remember. Chico Juan was going through it with 21 Savage. Same way. Other people was going through it with 21 Savage that ended up there. Rest in peace, Frank, Frank Roll Fresh. You know? It ain't got to be 21 Savage and directly they be from with one of his affiliates. It could be beefing with one of 21 Savage friends. It's still just like you was beefing with 21 Savage. So I'm not saying that these people can't make direct contact with 21 to start beefing. No. You could beef with one of his friends. You're going to get the same, tre- the same treatment as he said in the video. I'm going to kill your ass. He said that. I'm going to kill your way. Now, before I end this video, I say, all those kids that was killed in Atlanta, King Vaughn, Chico Juan, even Wiz the Wizard that wasn't killed in Atlanta, it all had ties to the same people, the same record label, same track 100, who do Voodoo, you know? Francois. He would stop this, okay? I really, when he goes somewhere, I never know what's going to go on. I know, I never know who he's going to bring. And I had not, not heard of anybody talk about Chico Juan. He said all of them have something in common. Chico Juan, Wiz the Wizard, and King Vaughn, Nipsey Hussle said all of them are tied to the same way he was murdered and tied to some of the same companies, record labels, and gatekeepers that sign Nipsey Hussle, that manage Nipsey Hussle, that work with Nipsey Hussle, also work with King Vaughn, Wiz the Wizard, and Chico Juan, and said that they were inside jobs when they murdered Chico Juan in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, y'all can look up Chico Juan's story. Let me ask y'all one question. At what given time, if you just in the room, you feel me, and all of a sudden, a nigga jump out of nowhere and say bad voodoo in the air and just start shooting. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I ain't know what the fuck was going on. You feel what I'm saying? That just don't sound right. He just got off the phone and said it's bad voodoo in the air and just start shooting. But I remind you, this kid here said that, listen, I'm, I'm going to point it out. And it was like the bullets, you feel me? I didn't even feel what I got hit. All I knew was I was on the ground leaking. Chico then was walking over there towards me. When Chico was walking towards me, I was playing like I was dead for real. When And, and Chico, he had the gun, but the, it was no more bullets in the gun. Now, just think about it. We got hit with a 380, so it was only six. So everybody got hit with a 380. Who gun was the 380s? He said that it was Chico gun, right? He said Chico pulled out the 380 shot. He said he pulled out a 380. So which one of y'all had that 380? Was y'all trying to rob him and he grabbed Jugger and shot you with Jugger? I don't know. It's weird. Bullets, you feel me? So he hit C2 and he hit me four. You feel me? So at the end of the day, like, I'm, I'm damn not about to die. You feel what I'm saying? What can you do? What can you do? Am I supposed to sit here and let this man kill me? You feel me? Oh, I got to protect myself. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, this is what happened. So, hey, man, my man, my boy, Huncho, man, what the fuck going on, man? Hey, when I'm done with this shit, man, I'm going to, you feel me? Whoever want to talk to me, free to talk. But I got to get this out. And y'all got to give me a minute because, you know what I'm saying, like, I damn that can't breathe right, you feel me? These folk, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, my lungs ain't all the way right. I got to collapse along and everything. I got to work this on my breathing. I can't even walk straight, you feel me? I got a crush. I've been in the hospital. I was in the hospital for eight days. I was in CIU for... Did I have to... Well, but watch Alessia K. Tyler. She said that dude is saying that he was being set up. 
He said he don't know what the scuff was over. He said dude had a fifteen thousand dollar chain on his neck, but still in all, the guy that he's talking about that pulled out the gun was an affiliate of Meat Mills, and he had problems in Atlanta. Did this guy and the other guy that he shot try to carry out? I guess the hit on this guy, he caught it, and they started fighting, and they struggled for the 380 because the 380 shot him, the other guy, and then the gun may have fell, and they picked the gun up and shot him. But you heard what Alexis K. Tyler said. Atlanta, Georgia. Now, y'all can look up Chico Wan's story, and he was always up under under um meek mill and you know who meek mill is under okay he was here and this guy called ty music when he was supposed to live visiting the guy named ty music and there was a couple other guys there but from what he told me what what where's the wizard told me and what chico one told me was that 21 savage didn't want him down here in the atl some with so I'm kind of connected, I'm kind of problem with 21 Savage. Well, we'll tie back to who? Vaughn, okay? And Ty Music said that he was, Chico One was in the house visiting. They were cool. I think they might have been smoking or something. Chico One got a phone call from Florida from his mother and said when Chico One got off the phone, he looked up and said, it's some bad juju in the air. And all of a sudden, said Chico Juan started shooting and started shooting Thai music. Thai music said he was shot in the lungs and the leg. He was dying, so he didn't want to shoot Chico Juan. But he had to shoot Chico Juan in self-defense. So he shot Chico Juan. Chico Juan ran out of the door. He didn't know if he was living or dead, and they found him. He was, I think he fell outside or something. Chico Juan died, and his mother, somebody had to come to Atlanta to get Chico Juan and take him back to um, Florida. Now, he keeps talking about his mother and says some unfinished business around his, his murder, and he wants to reach out to his mother. So I don't know if he talked to his mother, but clearly he was very spiritual. The mother's spiritual for Chico Juan to get off the phone with his mother and say, it's some bad juju in the air and just start shooting motherfuckers. Right. Look, I, that's what Ty right. Music said, but Chico Juan is telling me the story is a little bit different than what Ty Music said, but I'm trying not to get into that, but now Chico Juan's dead, and when you look, I think it was December the 13th, 2018. When you add those numbers up and you flip it, it's a six, okay? Um, where's the wizard? Now, that's a different story because the hmm. like I said, it's a lot of shit going on in the industry and in Atlanta, it's just not right. Meek Mill said that boy down there on the mission knowing that they was going to do something to him. They said King Von down there, no, they was going to do something to him. Everybody was before 21 Savage. That's all I was trying to say. So I'm going to leave it here because I done went too long over the time that I was trying to do this video. Leave a comment down below, like, share, subscribe, because I will follow up and do another video because I still want to do some stuff about Wiz the Wizard. Um, we ain't forget Wiz the Wizard. I don't care how much voodoo they put on him. Tell that voodoo guy we still going to try to get justice for Wiz the Wizard. What are you talking about? Anyway, y'all, leave a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Much love to everybody who's a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, become a subscriber. If you ain't hit the thumb up, please take your time. I hit that thumb up. Um, to everybody who joined the live just now, much love to you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Sorry, but I got to go because I got things to do. And badass kids that's running me crazy. So, y'all. Thank you for everybody who listened. Peace.